I like have goosebumps just thinking about it right now. Unfortunately, it's just not working out for me that way with. What color are you making? Blue, and blue orange, and green. Oh, I love it. What about you? First I'm gonna do pink, yeah, and then I'm gonna switch it, and then I'm gonna do green. Yeah. I don't need this pin. Fancy. So, you see this little like triangle thing? Yeah, what are you making? I'm gonna put like a pink hat inside. Ooh, that's so cool. Yeah. I feel like I don't make these picks like they used to. It's an egg? What is that? Let me open it. It has a paper in it. It says, I hid your basket where oh. daddy plays video games. Happy Easter! Oh. Where, daddy oh. plays video where daddy plays video games. Where daddy plays video games? Where you dry your clothes. What? Where you dry clothes. Um, oh, wait, it's a it's a dryer. That's not that's mine. You're, you're next. Want me to read it? Yeah. Okay. Where you keep your shoes in the garage. Read it. What does it say? Next is me. Where you wash. Dishes. What does it say? Almost there. Are you having fun? Where you watch movies? My couch. My couch. Where you watch movies? Yeah. Where you watch movies. What is it? What the? <laughs> what the? Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get them out. Okay, you guys come over here. Lala just passed. Lala just passed out. Oh, candy. What? What? You buy the bikes. You know how mommy gets the baskets? Just like we get the stockings for Santa. So mommy and daddy bought you guys bikes. And we put a note in there for the Easter Bunny to fill it in that in the basket this year. But I have something else to say. Daddy, 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 Da
Okay, okay, these are the butts. You ready? Face. This is a bunny's butt. Mom, this is butt. Oh, this is butt cheeks. Yeah. Oh, this is how you look at them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mace, you stole a chocolate marshmallow. No, get it. This is my final little look with my little bunny. We made it to our Easter egg hunt and it's such a gorgeous, beautiful day. Like it's literally so beautiful. This is what mommy made. I made chocolate dipped strawberries, but look at how cute all the desserts are. We're about to start hiding Easter eggs, but we are trying to decide where we're gonna do this. If we should stay in her yard or leave the yard. Look at all these kids ready. If there is an egg on the on the grass in the backyard only, that's only for ages six and under. Do you hear me? Six and under. If it's in the backyard, the front yard, the side yard, the backyard. Oh, no, no, no. Where's the eggs? Good. Good job, bud. Oh, look at you, you got a golden coin. Yeah. Thank you. Hey! Oh, this is a big egg. I did not have to the walk with your face. I'm not telling you. Kayla, <laughs> oh, you are. <laughs> 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 okay, guys. Hello, hello, hello. I feel so excited right now. I just left like a cleaning. I just went and got like a teeth cleaning no cavities which you guys have seen my journey with my teeth like it has been an absolute journey to say the least that we could save this for a whole nother video but I've never gone to the dentist and never had any cavities until like the last like five years of my life and it's it's incredible I just picked up this is my obsession addiction highly recommend this is the chunky strawberry bowl from Jamba Juice and it is, I add honey to it. It is my favorite thing of life. I was so hungry. The base is peanut butter, strawberries, bananas, like soy milk, I think, or maybe regular milk. It definitely has like a peanut butter, strawberry taste. It's literally my favorite combination it's actually a smoothie combination i would make a lot <clears throat> but then there's like fresh strawberries and bananas on top with granola and honey it's just my favorite thing i made the mistake of like brushing and scrubbing my teeth really good right when i put me sound for his nap and my dentist appointment it wasn't until two so I was like, I can sit for like another, I was gonna leave a little early. So I was like, I can sit for another hour and a half. And my dentist appointment ended up taking actually a long time because I, spoiler, am gonna get braces. So anyways, I like saved my appetite and I'm like starving. And I just drove all around this parking lot looking for a shady spot because Summer is coming and my phone was like overheating just sitting on my dashboard and I was like I literally need to talk to you guys okay so I seriously miss you guys so so much and like I'm not just saying that this has been the longest break that I've ever had not posting on YouTube like the longest in eight years since I first started I've never gone 
a month without posting. And when I tell you, I think of you guys often, I'm not even kidding. Like at least twice a day. I have four videos coming after this. It takes me six hours to edit one vlog and that's from like uploading it. It takes like 25 minutes to upload the footage, putting into Final Cut Pro, editing it, it's like cutting it down from my two hour vlog to my 10 minute vlog, putting the edits on it, the songs on it, exporting it, downloading it, uploading it to YouTube, creating a thumbnail and a title and then getting it up. So from like start to finish, it is a solid six hours. When I tell you guys I edit until like midnight still to this day, but I want it to be so for real with you guys. Like I really want it to be so transparent. And like if I were talking to you guys as like one of my best friends, this is what I would say. And I really hope you guys like can take this information and just be like, I don't know, happy for me. And I know you guys will. And you guys are literally some of my favorite people. And I, I'm not just saying that because I'm not, I'm like talking to a camera, but like I meet you guys in real life all the time. And you guys are some of the coolest people out there. And I know that you guys like vibe the things I vibe. I forgot my phone was dying. I better put you in. I have been getting some deals like some brand deals on my instagram and my tiktok i have been getting some of the most amazing opportunities that i could have only dreamed of it takes up all of my time youtube doesn't i don't get paid a lot from youtube so i strictly do it because one i love it two i love time like capsuling my children's life motherhood my moments i love relating to you guys i love the connection i love like YouTube is my love, right? It's like what I'm the most passionate about. And I always knew that if you do what you love, the money will follow. I couldn't have asked for a better, more amazing jo job in my entire life, but I have been getting some opportunities on my other platforms that you wouldn't say no to. Like they're to work with incredible brands, brands that I already love. But if you've never like worked with a brand and you're kind of like, not understanding of how it goes you're given a timeline of when a video is due you do edits on it i've had amazing opportunities on these other platforms that i'm not going to say no to and i feel like i'm spread so thin because i also am a full-time mom i don't have help until Kikoi gets home at 3 p.m. I don't have any family here. It all falls on me. And then Kiko and I also split up the duties of taking Laura to basketball. He's now in basketball. And Ayla is in dance three times a week. And then she does now tumbling. Mace does a gym class also. So it's like, we are so spread thin. Any other time that I have, I'm literally editing deals or sponsorships or as much as I don't wanna puts YouTube last because in my mind it's my favorite thing to do this I love talking to a camera and being just like real and raw and realistic and like long form videos like I love that to me it's like that's like where my passion is if you guys knew some of these amazing opportunities that I've been getting it's and we just bought a house like my daughter's in competitive dance like I need these opportunities and you just wouldn't turn them down. I tell Kikwa that I get butterflies in my stomach every day when I wake up. My management team has like a company that we work through like a website and I just get butterflies because I have so much work every single day on there. A few hours a day I am spent working on the brand side of things and it has been incredible. Like I am just, I like have goosebumps just thinking about it right now. This is all I've ever wanted, but I just wish I could get it to the YouTube side of things. And unfortunately, it's just not working out for me that way with YouTube. I just like want to be real and raw. And I've been getting so many messages of people being like, where are you? But like in such a good way, like we miss you. We hope you're doing well, but we understand. And I just can't tell you guys how happy that makes me I feel like I'm at a place like we just bought our house. I got like an accountant to like help me with my finances. My life is just, it's working out the way that it's supposed to be. And for so long, I just was trying to get to this point. 
And so I feel like the next step for me and the direction I want to take this is I need to be able to film my two to three hours and then send it off to someone or have someone come over to my house and edit it for me and get it up consistently. I would love to do that. Like two to three videos a week is like my goal. I don't want it to feel like rushed or half-assed. Like I'm just like filming and editing it so fast to get it up because that to me is like not to even get to this realization. A part of me like has been sad because if you know, you know I actually love the editing side of things. I feel like a piece of me is like changing because you guys are like my baby. Like this is like my baby. This is like how I started. My whole career that I have today is because of you guys and this platform. And it is so important to me to upkeep it. But realistically, I still have a toddler at home. I We want to have more children. So it's like realistically, I need to figure out what is the best for our situation and for me to be able to still work, succeed in life the way that I want to, but also like pour my heart into all my projects. I don't want to limit myself because I genuinely love it here. It's my safe space and nobody's going to take that away from from me sorry i keep burping like i said this is the longest i've i've never not posted more than a week like maybe i i've hit like two weeks this last year it has been nice to take this little break but i am so freaking ready to come back i'm so freaking ready i cannot believe it's even been a month like i didn't mean for this to happen it kind of just like happened like it just another day kept passing another day kept passing there was a couple times i sat down to edit this video that this other video that I was working on I just didn't get to it but I still filmed other videos for you and just know that takes like a full day for me to film a video so it's like I I'm still picking up the camera and capturing things and ideas and moments in our life but I wanted to give you guys a little piece of my heart of what's kind of been going on like what's happening with this channel I want to reassure you guys that I'm not going anywhere and I promised you guys that from the very beginning i may take bear breaks but you guys will always be updated here on my life like i don't care if i'm like 70 years old i will still post on this youtube channel and i mean that with my whole heart and soul like i would never just give up on this channel ever 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 um but if you want more like quicker updates from us or just to stay up to date on what we've been doing, I post every single day on Instagram and TikTok little short clips into our life. It's literally just what I have been doing here for the last eight years, but now in short form on YouTube or on TikTok. I love you guys so much and I so appreciate you for just sticking with me through this journey. Um, I can't express how much you guys mean to me and I hope you guys continue to support me on this journey. And thank you so much for staying patient. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, love you.